So meanwhile, this took a lot longer than I expected, even though I had the right plate here, because the bolts that you use to bolt the bracket, this bracket down here too, this large L bracket, bolt to the bottom of this. Well, the bolts weren't long enough to go through the plate and the bracket. So, I had to start hunting down for bolts and I couldn't find any because they're an odd metric. Well, it's not odd, it's just that they're metric. <clears throat> and I didn't have that size. I did, but they were too long. So, um, I said, all right. So I had to cut the plate uh, on both sides so that I can get the bolts in the L bracket and then, uh, well, the plate, um, and bypass that. So basically, uh, well, here, let me turn it over and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's the easiest way to do it. And it's a mess, but I had to cut this out with the grinder so I can get these bolts in. And then I had to bolt this in here. Now, I wanted those bolts to not only hold this plate on that came with it, but the plate that I have. That's what the intentions were. But my the bolts that I had that would fit thread-wise were too long. The ones that came with it were too short. So then I said, well, I'm just going to open them up. But then what good was that going to do? You know, so it just wasn't working either way. So I said, you know what, let me just cut the sides off. I mean, I, I can't sit here and just keep farting around with this thing all day. You know, something that's an easy fix. Now, this is what I mean about having stuff in-house. You know, I've got the bolts that fit, but they're too long. So, if I had the right bolts, or it came with a bolt, thinking that you may put it on a plate, uh, you know, they were too short. So, the thing was, if I had the longer bolts, only about a quarter inch longer, wasn't that much of a, of a uh, length, but just enough to where it bit, but it wouldn't grab, if you know what I mean. So, so that cost me about an hour and a half of time. Trying to figure out the easiest way or the quickest way but yet have it the right way so that'll work but I would prefer to have that whole plate on there so what I'm going to do now I'm going to see it's starting to get cold out now the wind is coming down that's oh, sorry guys uh, the wind is coming down from the north and it's bringing down some cold air with it so we were at 57 degrees with no wind, which was nice. Now we're at 53 degrees and we've got, no, I'd say a constant 15 knots. With a 20, 25 gust. So it's definitely uh, throwing us down some cold weather uh, from our uh, brothers up there in the uh, cool country. So, so that's where we're at. Now, <clears throat> um, what I'll probably end up doing is I have to go out and I have to put a little slice in the bumper. I do. Uh, uh, Okay, if I, uh, see, the bumper has that cutout in it, like I was telling you, in the center. And down here, inside the bumper, that's where the plate is. So looking at the bumper, the cutout, well, that's not working very really well now, is it? Looking at the bumper from the side, bumper comes down, comes down, then it's got the cutout in it. And it comes down, it comes down like this. Well, on the inside, 
it's got another roll like this and then at that point this bumper here all connects so this is also steel which is mounted to the frame so what I want to do is I want to slice this down so looking at it from the front again this being the center the slot if I slice it here and here I can fold this down so this plate will fit right across in here perfectly and then I can bolt up in here there's plenty of room <clears throat> and then I'll have good strength now what I'm thinking of doing is possibly just taking out the welder with me and uh, throw a few tacks on it real quick it'll be a lot easier than me trying to hold everything uh, at the same time so I can put a clamp on it, throw some tacks on it that'll also help with the strength uh, and it'll give me time to get the bumpers on there let me put these knives back up you guys are familiar with these kind of knives I'm sure right. these are uh, these are good defense knives I don't know if you guys ever trained with knives or not but uh, these are pretty good you got them coming and going and you can use them as knuckles so anyway um, <clears throat> that's where we're at so if I'm going to do that I got to clean this off a little bit over here and over here so when I do I can get a nice bite huh I heard something going um, so I got to put on my jacket I got to go out there and figure out which is going to be the best way for me to cut the uh, the bumper I know I'm not going to do it with a pair of shears I won't be able to get in there with the nibbler I got an air nibbler as well as a hand, little hand nibbler but because of the contour I'm not going to be able to get in there with the nibbler so I'm thinking probably just a, um, a hacksaw I think that's big enough for me to get in there with a hacksaw anyway Oh, do you guys want to come out? I'll take you out there with me for a minute. I don't have the 3D with me. Or not the 3D, but the 360. Uh, uh, okay. It's getting cold out there. So as much as I can get done today, the better off it's going to be. Uh, so I don't have to deal with it tomorrow. I'm going to hack show off. Axle, got a good blade, a fair blade, okay. This will give me a little bit of an indication as to uh, what I'm going to be doing out there. <coughs> let's do some measurements and let's go out there and get blown away and partially froze. Just partially. Okay, we're looking at approximately nine inches. Okay. Approximately. <coughs> These are real kinds of gun rests. I suppose to be I should be dropping them off at the club. You know. It's a mess. Just I could say you guys know. Well, I don't know. Down south a little bit is probably okay, but up here. Uh, oh, first seat bag. Yeah, let's put you over there for now, because I ain't got time to deal with cleaning up. Uh, we had a very late summer and an early winter. Oh, there's the nut. I was looking for that. I was looking for that. Good, I can put that back in there. Okay, so. Here's what I'm talking about. See, I'm down here, I got that, and that's heavy. So I'm going to slice this so I can bend this down, tack it down. <clears throat> uh, and then I can just put that right in there. The winch will fit here. You know, I guess I could just tack it up here too, I guess. I should go get it to see. That might, you know what? Well, if I do it here, it may be in the way of the lights. Well, you know what? Before we make cuts, let's go see. Let's go get it. I guess that's the best way. What do you think, guys? 
But like I was saying, we had a lake. So, I mean, we were having like freezing weather April and May. Snow, and then our April showers came around April, May, and June. It was July before we got any kind of weather at all. And then it went into like bang heat. <coughs> um, now that I got this nut here, but boy, I'm gonna change this out real quick. It'll take a second. Soon as I can pick up that ratchet that I just dropped on the floor. <coughs> and uh, like I said, we had Harley. Oh, wrong size. Sure it is. You know what? Screw it. Um, you know, it, it was just one of those. Crazy, crazy, God, this thing's had crazy uh, summers. I mean, July, August, September, and it started getting cold again. I mean, you know, in, in miserable weather, rain. So we really didn't have any time at all for getting any real good yard work done. It was always a hit and miss. Four. Nah, I don't like that. If I move the lights, they, and I don't, I don't want it there because it'll be pulling down on it at the same time, and then I'm going to have to move the lights. If I want to push it back, so uh, I think my original plan was better. Hold on a minute. Yeah, see, that's my original plan. I think that's much better. Yeah, gonna give me more support and everything. So that's what we're gonna be, and I'll be more or less even, so I won't be pulling down on it. Okay, let's move you down here. Now let's see what we have here. Oh why is that plate? That's 13. We don't want to go 13, so let's go uh, six and a half. So if that's six and a half, let's go five over here. Let me put a mark for it says. Cut it down here and cut it down here, but this is too big. So I gotta figure out a way of doing it. I guess I can just get the grinder out here and do it. Take the plate holder off, because that's gonna be in the way. I can probably just drop that down some. I'll try it in there. Is that it? I can't tell. Can't tell. Yeah, okay. Take those off and this will come right out. And they can drop that plate down. Good. And I don't want to, I could bolt it upside down, but then I'm going to be getting it filled with crap and I don't want that. And if I want to put a cover on it, the cover will keep falling off if I have it upside down. So it's definitely got to go here. So I got to take this off. So let me go get the. Let me go get the grinding wheel. I already have an extension out here someplace.
Ah, okay. Yeah, it's nice and toasty in here. Let's see. 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Yeah, yeah. And the only thing that's on is that. So that plenum is definitely doing the job. All right, I'm not going to take you guys out there with me because I can't see anyway. I can't hold the camera and do what I got to do. And uh, I do have a tripod out there, but eh, why get in the way? This is going to be a lot of noise. So give me a few. Okay, okay. I haven't got it wired yet. Let me turn off some of these lights. I brought the welder out there. But, uh... I got it welded on enough. And it's not gonna stay or work like it is. I gotta bolt it, but meanwhile it's welded on so that I can get up under there with bolts. Just it's getting late. And uh, I'm just gonna call the day because I've been going all day. But there it is. So uh, now uh Crawl up underneath, put up a couple of screws, uh, throw a few holes up there. I'll throw up some, maybe some three quarter inch bolts, and we're done. I gotta get the power washer out here one more time and power wash all this stuff. Get these leaves out of here. So, go to that. That's it for today. And I tell you, I gotta do one thing with this one or two. I put this back plate on here in case I ever get a tank for it. I can put the tank on this here. However, when I tip it back, the wheels, it just tends to hit. So I got to put taller wheels on it so that when I bring it back, because when I bring it back to a comfortable level, you know, for pushing or pulling, it catches. So I got to bring it up about another inch and a half. So I gotta change the wheels, I'm thinking. Or raise that, that plate. So, or both. All right, it's about quarter to four, I'm thinking. Should not be permitted to purchase fire. Yeah, it's uh, the red flag. 1540, uh, here in Connecticut, it's down to 48 to degrees, 75 back here, care so, much, believe us. So, so that's where we're at, so I'm going to call it a day guys, pick some of this stuff up, and uh, tomorrow the wife goes back to work, today is Tuesday I believe, or is it? Which include firearms such as the AR-15 and the AK-47. Uh, well, the bill yeah, specifically would not prohibit So sales. at that point, uh, I'm going to call it a day. And uh, go in the house and chill, relax. And uh, load some videos to bore you guys with. And we'll call it a day.